And I'm Paula Todi. Investigators are piecing together a twisted tale after a man is accused of killing two women and firing shots at deputies. That man then tried to take his own life. Local 12's Anjanette Levy was allowed into the home where the second woman was killed. She's live now with details about what we know about the suspect. Hi, Anjanette. Hi, Cammie. You know, James Guerin, he's been in and out of prison over the years. Sharon McCleary is the 63-year-old woman who was killed during that standoff in Trenton yesterday. Today, her son said he has a very simple message for people. He said, this is what drugs can do. I still don't understand why he shot her. It was, uh, he was about to surrender from what I was told. He was walking out the door. Richard so. McCleary says his mother Sharon spent all of her time in this chair. She had suffered a stroke years ago and was blind. McCleary says James Guerin was his youngest sister's girlfriend and they were staying with his mother. Good lady, good lady. Loved everybody. You know, let these fools in her house. Bad idea. But she couldn't do anything about that. You know, it's, it, she's helpless. The entire ordeal started yesterday morning when a woman found 27-year-old Megan Motter shot to death on Woodsdale Road. Sheriff Richard K. Jones described Motter and Guerin as business associates. Deputies say they went to Sharon McCleary's apartment in Trenton looking for James Guerin and he fired shots at them and they fired back. We think approximately maybe five to maybe eight rounds were being shot at us. Then at one point, he said he was going to come out. Sheriff Jones said Garen let his girlfriend's sister go. Then he planned to surrender but wanted to smoke a cigarette. Then he let his girlfriend leave. At that point, he immediately pushed the door closed. We tried to make entry at that time. Then we heard gunfire. It appeared there was two shots fired immediately as we were trying to make entry. Sheriff Jones says Sharon McCleary was shot in the head and it appears that Garen shot himself in the mouth. He was talking on the way to the hospital. Richard McCleary thinks he knows what was behind the shootings. Oh yeah, he's, uh, he's big in the drugs. From what I understand, they had just got a fresh supply that night. Sheriff Jones says the investigation is continuing and his detectives are looking at whether or not Motter and Guerin were involved in a larger gang of criminal activity in Hamilton. Reporting live, I'm Anjanette Levy, Local 12 News. Cammie, back to you. All right, Anjanette, thank you. Guerin was released from prison in March of 2016. He served time for some break-ins and stealing guns in Claremont County, and he was also convicted of gross sexual imposition in the 1990s.